this Sunday, we have the celebration of the Eucharist, right? The, the solemnity of the body and blood of Christ. And in recognizing this, we also have that passage from Luke's gospel where Jesus feeds the multitude. He feeds the 5,000 people. And he feeds them with the daily bread, or in Greek, the, the supraousia, right? This bread that goes beyond substance. It's a prefigurement of his Eucharist. It's a prefigurement of his body being offered to us. We in the world today, we're starving. And if you look at the world, you can see it. Everyone is just starving. We, we clamor for pleasure. We, we seek wealth and we want all this stuff and material possessions. And we go out and we try to bring all this stuff to ourselves, trying to satiate a hunger that we just can't satiate. Right? We become addicted to entertainment. We become addicted to, to food, to sex, to pleasure, to alcohol, to, to movies, to all kinds of different things. And we keep wanting to alleviate the world from suffering because we think that getting rid of suffering will somehow finally put us at rest and satisfy our longings and our desires. But what does Jesus offer us? In his very self his own body and his own blood in the Eucharist. He feeds 5,000 men, not counting women and children, with a few loaves and a few fish. And he desires to do so much more. He desires to give us the food that goes beyond substance. That super substantial bread, that daily bread, our, our need, which is himself. We, we're so hungry because we're trying to feed ourselves up with just the junk of the world. But I'm starving for God. And as I starve for God, he offers himself to me as true food and as true drink. It's the Eucharist that will finally satisfy my longing, my craving, and my desire. Come to him.